Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Throwback Thursday. Today we are doing 1993 Bowman. There are 24 packs per box. We have these two factory sealed boxes. You can see the Topps logo on the cellophane right there. Um, there's foil cards that we're looking for in here, or at least we used to be looking for them. Those used to be pretty cool. The best cards in here, uh, number one by far, is the Derek Jeter rookie card. That books for about $20, but if you can get a PSA 10 Jeter Bowman rookie card, that one sells in the recently sold eBay listings for anywhere between about $250 to $300. So that is the card that we are after today. So uh, without further ado, let's get this first box open. And we do have some sponsors that bought in to the video, and they are going to be receiving all of the cards from different stacks of the box. I put this up on my Patreon page, and it sold out literally within less than two minutes. So let's go. We'll start off with, uh, I guess we'll go um, James in the top right. Uh, James J, thank you for buying in. Thank you, everyone, for buying in. I used to only do two, or not two, one box of these for Throwback Thursday, but I want to make sure that we get the big hit every week. The big hit this week would be a Derek Jeter. So James J uh, is on the clock. If I can get the box open, there we go. Here's the inside of it. You can see that's what the pack looked like. Kind of similar to the 1992 design. Um, you can see 14 cards per pack with one special engraved foil card. And here is what the back of the pack looks like. So top right stack. Let me pull these out and let's uh, get to ripping and see what we find. All right. Get it open. There we go. Brings back memories of 1993. The year that I mostly collected baseball cards or collected cards the most. Sticking together a little bit. So far, we've got nobody really recognizable. Bowen was always known for having rookies in it, and they also put some stars. There's Nolan Ryan. I think everyone recognizes the Ryan Express, one of his final uh, cards. I think 94 Tops was the final Ryan card that I can remember. Here's a Jose Rijo card. He was not too bad. Barry Larkin, Hall of Famer, also former MVP, Ray McDavid. That is the foil card. You can see it has a foil all the way around. This was a special subset um, in the base set that was uh, used to honor top prospects, 92 uh, MVPs of minor leagues. There's Chuck Carr. He's a real speedy guy um, from the Marlins. Mitch Williams, the wild thing. Jeremy Burnett's. Jeff King. Jeff King hated baseball so much that he retired the day that he got 10 years of Major League service. Like, he walked away in the middle of the season in, like, May because he hated baseball so much. Um, kind of crazy that you would hate baseball that much, even though he was making, like, he had a huge contract and everything, too, millions of dollars. And um, he retired from baseball and went to uh, be a farmer. Uh, at 10 years of service, you get a pension, so you get paid for life. And that's what he was uh, in the, uh, I guess, in into it for. Kind of crazy. Juan Gonzalez, Juan gone. All right, let's see. We got Marquise Grissom. He had a very nice career. Javi Lopez, Braves catcher, one of their top prospects. Also had a pretty good uh, few years there. Donnie Elliott, Tom Candiotti. Uh, Dennis Eckersley, Hall of Famer. Then we got Sean Runyon, Mike Crosby, a couple guys that you've probably never heard of before. A lot of times prospects don't pan out and uh, end up being guys we don't know that much about. And then sometimes the prospects really turn out to be great. There's Quentin McCracken, Colorado Rockies. Never amounted to anything, really. Tim Worrell, Craig Lefferts. They are sticking a little bit, but they're not. there's no paper loss. Sometimes, especially with 93 upper deck, I'm really afraid to do 93 upper deck because of how often um, some of those stick together. Steve Carse, Jorge Fabregas, 
Butch Husky, David McCard- uh, McCarty, Mike Devereaux, Bill Hasselman, Ed Sprague, former Pirate, T.R. Lewis. I'm a Pirate season ticket holder, so I always point out the Pirate stuff. All right, next pack. We got a Jay Bell on the back. Felipe Lira. It seems like the cards that stick the most are the ones on the top. Here's a checklist card. Marshall Bowes or Bose. Never heard of him. Rich Becker. Luis Lopez. This one was pretty good back in the day. Cliff Floyd. He was a top prospect. Um, broke his wrist. A lot of people thought that uh, Floyd's career might be over when his uh, injury happened, but he did uh, fight back through adversity. He's Jason Beret. Brady Anderson turned into a power hitter and hit 51 home runs one year despite being a little kind of like leadoff guy. That was kind of like the epitome of the uh, steroid era. Robin Yount, Bob Wickman, former closer, and Jay Bell. So, so far, no Jeter or Pettit. Those are the top two. There's also some other, you know, minor rookie cards in there like uh, Steve Traxel. And uh, you got Mike Piazza's second year card because he was a 92 Bowman. Also, uh, Marion Rivera second year would be a nice find. Lee Heath. Graham Lloyd from Down Under from Australia. Mark uh, Holzemer. Stottlemyre, Harold Baines, Hall of Famer with the Orioles. Then we have Kevin Stalker, Robin Ventura, Albert Bell, who always looked mad in his cards, Kevin McReynolds, Randy Johnson, and Mike Mussina, Hall of Famer. So down to James's last pack on the top right of the stack. We got Jeff Blauser on the back, Greg Olson on the front with Tyler Green. Gerald Williams, that's not the Yankee you wanted. Also, a checklist card is kind of sticking there. Another Graham Lloyd. A couple repeats here. Jim Tatum. Rayo Cormier. One of those French names that a lot of the kids would mess up. Jeff Blauser. So that's it for James. Thank you for buying into the uh, Throwback Thursday. No Derek Jeter yet, but... We shall see. Next up, we have Patrick W. Bottom right. Let's get these packs going. Let's see what we find. All right, here we go. First pack. That one was actually easy to open. Eric Caro's former um, Rookie of the Year. There was a stretch there that the Dodgers seemed to win the Rookie of the Year every single year. Guys like Eric Caros and Todd Hollinsworth and... Hideo Nomo, Billy Ripken, without any obscenities on his card. That's nice. Tyrone Hill. Billy Ripken's a good analyst. I, I enjoy Billy Ripken and his work on the uh, MLB Network. Now we have Marty Cordova. He was a uh, – this card used to be kind of valuable. You might remember Marty Cordova from the Twins, power-hitting prospect. He also had some good years in the majors. Ray McDavid, Mike Henneman. Melvin Nieves, Luis Gonzalez turned into a great player, and Ray Holbert. Next pack. It's a nice clean break of that pack. All right, we got Pat Gomez and then Rick Green. Carlos Delgado, that's a good one. Carlos Delgado. Just the back of that one. Carlos Delgado should have gotten a little more consideration for the Hall of Fame. He kind of fell off the ballot pretty quickly. I always thought that he was uh, deserving of a... Some more consideration, Kevin Mitchell. He's a big guy. Hit 47 home runs in 1989, 88, 89. Darren Fletcher, Paul Sorrento. Still no signs of Jeter. Or Pettit. Or Rivera. So the Yankees are kind of tough to find. There's Hojo Howard Johnson. He used to drive me nuts when I was a kid. He was a pirate killer. Mets were Kind of pirate killers back in the day. Carl Everett, Randy Myers, part of the Nasty Boys from the uh, 90 Reds, which also drove me crazy. 90 Reds eliminated the 90 Pirates and went on to win the World Series. You know, the Pirates won a division. That was back when the Reds were in the uh, National League West division for some reason. Todd Van Poppel, Eric Davis, uh, Mark Grace, Al Martin, and then Lance Painter and Brandon Wilson. 
Three packs left for Patrick. Oh, that would have been sick back in the day. Tim Wakefield. He was a uh, kind of like a phenom when he burst onto the scene. Had a great, great rookie year. And then struggled in subsequent couple years. Pirates gave up on him. He went to the Red Sox and hung on for a long time and had a very, very nice long career. Tim Wakefield. Used to love watching him pitch. Daryl Hamilton. Roger Clemens. Probable future Hall of Famer. Once... Um, he serves his time in uh, Hall of Fame purgatory, and they just kind of let him get close enough to, you know, induction, and then he always falls back. Usually in the um, pre-results among public ballots, he's usually right there around 70%, 70 to 75%. He gets close, but then the all the writers that don't make their ballots public, typically they don't vote for Bonds and Clemens, and then he falls back down into the 50s. You need 75% of the vote to get into the Hall of Fame. Tim Salmon, nice card there. Tim Salmon was one of the top rookies back in this time period. Don Mattingly, his career would end soon after. His last year playing was 95, plagued by back problems. Another guy that probably should be in the Hall of Fame, most dominant player, arguably, of the 1980s. All right, next pack, we got Wes Chamberlain, Albie Lopez, uh, Bobby Hughes. Usually, you got some prospects on the top. Daryl Boston, he was a coach up to, I don't know if he's still a coach or not, but he was a coach for the White Sox recently. Ruben Sierra, Raul Mondese, another one of those Dodgers top prospects. Nice looking foil card there. Tom Pagnozzi, Ozzy Timmins, Bernie Williams. Bernie Williams rookie was 1990, but um, no Pettit or Jeter for Patrick. So, Patrick, thank you for buying into this throwback Thursday. Next up, we're going to go top left. Top left. That one's going to Robert H., which means uh, Darren C is going to get the bottom left. I'll take those out and put them aside. And Robert H is on the clock now. There's, I think this is, there's 700 plus cards in this set. Slightly over 700 cards. So the odds of finding the Jeter are probably about 50% in any one box. As there are 24 packs per box. And 14 cards per pack, so... I'm hoping we find at least two of them, but we shall see. Tyrone Hill, Carlton Fisk, that was near the end of his career. Yvonne Calderon, Terry Pendleton, and Scott Fletcher is the first pack for Robert. Pack number two. Damon Hollins. I'm guessing that if we do pull the Jeter, it's going to be within the first like four cards as these are always the younger players. And then we get to the more established players like Frank Thomas. That's a nice card there. Kevin Seitzer was uh, always a, a decent player. Paul Wagner. That's kind of back to prospects now. And then we have Troy Percival. He was uh, had a really, really great career uh, for many years. Jack Morris. Terry Mulholland. By the way, Terry Mulholland is from Uniontown, Pennsylvania. That is where we went for the uh, that baseball card store in the mall. It's only about 20 minutes or so away from here. Gary Sheffield. Manny Ramirez. Not too bad. Two guys that probably should be in the Hall of Fame but aren't because of steroid suspicions, especially Manny Ramirez really kind of blew his shot with uh, his multiple um, busts. Or PEDs. So, Robert, let's see if we can find you that Jeter now. Next pack. Jose Oliva. Yvonne Cruz. Todd Hollinsworth. Another one of those um, Dodgers prospects. Slash rookies of the year. Andy Bennis. Charlie Hayes. His son is going to be a... Star, hopefully, for the Buckos, Brian Hayes, Bubba Smith, Eddie Taubensy, Steve Bouchelle, Joe Oliver playing some infield there. Joe Oliver was a catcher. I guess maybe he's doing some catching drills. Got the catching mid on. Bernard Gilkey, Carlos Quintana. Next pack. I forget what these packs used to sell for back in the day. It's not listed on the box anywhere. They were 
advertised as super premium cards. So I don't know, I'm guessing two, three dollars a pack. I can't remember. I just know that I never used to buy 93 Bowman. I used to spend all my money on 93 Tops and 93 Upper Deck. Those were my main two. Willie Green, I was trying to complete both of those sets, and I just I was obsessed with like 93 Tops, Black Gold, and also like the 93 Upper Deck um, insert series back then. Big uh, deal was finding insert cards. Super pumped if you would find an insert. We got a Sammy Sosa on the back of this next pack for Robert. We also got Mike Williams, uh, who was an all-star for the Pirates. One of the worst seasons ever. I think he had like a six-plus earned run average and was still an all-star. That was almost embarrassing for um, us Bucko fans that he was our all-star. I mean, he did have some saves, but his earned run average was way, way up there. Trevor Hoffman, second-year card in his Marlins uniform. His rookie card was 92. Bowman in his Reds uni. Then we have uh, uh, Hal and Brian McRae, father-son um, combo card there. Pretty cool. Jay Buhner, Matt Noakes, Brett Barbary, Dave Hollins, and there's Sammy Sosa. Sammy would go on to be one of the most prolific power hitters of the uh, era, although um, not in the Hall of Fame, of course, because of all the uh, PED suspicions. Last pack for Robert. Omar Dahl is on the back. We got a Chris Eddy. And let's see here. Gettys Glaze. Never even heard of this guy. Rob Wisniewski. Never heard of him either. And uh, Jose Vieira. Still no Jeter. Or Pettit. Joe Carter. Good one there. Nice Manny Ramirez foil card. Mickey Tennelton. Jimmy Haynes. And um, that's it. So that'll wrap up that stack of box number one. Now we're on to the last stack. Bottom left, Darren C. got really, really lucky last Throwback Thursday. We did 87 Fleer, and Darren pulled not one but two Barry Bonds rookie cards, and those were the only two rookie cards that we pulled from that Throwback Thursday. He got them both. So let's see if he has any luck. Todd Hundley, Javi Lopez... Billy Brewer, Al Shirley, Tony Tarasco, another one of these cards. Solomon Torres, former Buccos closer. Andrew Harsadeno, Johnny Ruffin, Kevin Brown, and Spike Owen for the first pack. Pack number two. See a Pat Kelly on the back. That's not the uh, middle infielder from the Yankees that we're looking for. Jimmy Gonzalez, Frank Rodriguez. Dan Smith, no, we're not finding Derek, Daryl Strawberry, another one of these, Manny Ramirez foil cards, Jose Martinez, there's Pat Kelly, pack number three of six for Darren, we got a Gene Shaw, Jeff Kent, Jeff Kent probably should be a Hall of Famer someday. Most um, ever home runs for... There it is! Derek Jeter! Darren hits again with the Derek Jeter. Check it out. Derek Jeter rookie card. Very, very nice. Look at the young Jeter there. Again, if you look at recently sold listings, this card goes for about $250 if you can get a PSA 10. So I know a lot of you PSA 10ers always like to uh, check it out. You're going to say there's a little blip on that right uh, top left corner. Um, very, very nice Derek Jeter card. Check out the back. It says, Derek Stats is a rookie pro. Belie the skills that made him the only high school player chosen in the first eight picks of last year's Draft the 92 National High School Player of the Year. He has a live bat. 5.08 is a high school senior. Arm 85 miles an hour. Throws across the diamond. And legs 4.1 seconds to first base. Derek Jeter would go on to, of course, be um, one of the great Yankees of all time. Uh, for sure, he's going to um, go into the Hall of Fame and be remembered forever. There it is. Number one overall 92 pick, Derek Jeter. So let me get this um, put aside for Darren.
All right, so there we go. Derek Jeter rookie card. We got him. Congratulations, Darren, on that. Darren, with the hot streak, keep it up. We'll see if Darren can continue that. He bought into my definitive, Tops definitive break that I just put on sale today. Super, super high-end break. It's $1,000 a pack. Yes, $1,000 for a pack of eight cards. And um, really looking forward to pulling some great stuff out of that. Um, all the cards are relics or autographs. And a lot of times they put some really cool stuff in like older cards, stuff that would like be a case hit in most other releases. Mark McGuire, that's a nice one. If you're interested in buying into the Topps Definitive Break, I'll put that link in the description. It'd be nice to do a few boxes of that because there's only three boxes per case. And each box only has that one pack in it. All right, we got um, our next pack here. Let's see. Andy Pettit! You got Andy Pettit also. Andy Pettit rookie card for Darren. So Darren gets both, the top two. Derek Jeter's the best card in the set by far. And then also Andy Pettit um, had a really, really awesome career for the Yankees. And this is the Pettit rookie card. So you got both of them. Andy Pettit, the six foot five, 220 pound Andy Pettit is anything but petite. High 80s fastball benefits his size. Uh, Pettit was a warrior for many years for the Yanks. So Darren definitely has the hot hand, and he still has another slot in the second box of 93 Bowman. So keep up the good work, Darren. Two hits right there. Let me get, the, uh, get back into this pack here. I think I also have the cards from the uh, second half of the Jeter pack. I just kind of threw those to the side here. Jesse Hollins, Rick Sutcliffe, Apier, Banks, Hill, Brett Boone. And then the other ones from the Jeter pack. We've got um, Mike Greenwell, David Need, who was a top, top prospect and faded out. Eric Anthony. We've got another father-son card, Felipe and Moises Alou. Scott Hatteberg. He was in uh, Moneyball. Damon Buford. Then we got Doug Becker and Mike Neal. So that is, bottom left has been really paying off for you, Darren. Here's Darren's last pack. Let's see if maybe you can, I don't know, find that Marion Rivera maybe? Second year card. I think we haven't seen that one yet. I was looking forward to finding that one. Um, let's see here. Jason Bure. Greg Swindell, Frank Rodriguez, Pat Borders, Tom Hankey, and Ricky Henderson. That's a nice card. Always liked Ricky Henderson. So out of the first box, the bottom left was the hot spot for Darren. Pulled both Derek Jeter and Andy Pettit rookie cards. Congratulations, Darren. We still have one more box on this throwback Thursday of 93 Bowman. Here it is. And once again, we have people that bought in to it. On my Patreon page, there's their names. We'll call them out as we uh, open their stacks. So let's get right to this. Get this opened up. And here we go. Let's do John A with the uh, top right stack. John A. Put him on the clock. Found pretty much everything I wanted to find except for the Rivera. So let's see if we can find the Marion Rivera second year card. Let's put these go right to the middle. Got a Steve Gibraltar there. Steve Dixon, Rich Robertson. There it is, Marion Rivera. Second year card. Really, really young looking Mariano. Hall of Famer going to the Hall of Fame this year. Very, very nice card. Marion Rivera second year card. 92 Bowman is the big one. Um, but this is a second year card. Very, very nice. John A, congratulations on that. Mariano, hopefully we can find you a Derek Jeter also. Never know where it's going to fall in the box. Larry Walker, possible future Hall of Famer. All right, pack number two of six for John. We've got El Presidente, Denny Martinez on the back. Tim Clark is your foil card. Midray Cummings, Ken Griffey Jr., that's a nice card. Griffey, one of the, uh, if not arguably, the best player of the 90s all around. Mark Gardner, his career kind of um, hit the brakes a bit when he went to Cincinnati. 
But, um, you know, injuries slowed him down a bit. But still, Hall of Famer, Ken Griffey Jr., one of the greatest of all time. Next pack. This box seems to be a little bit easier to sort through. They're not as flipped around as the other one. Paul Malder taking a, a ball there in the infield. Darren Dalton, Dave Winfield, Hall of Famer. Um, Deion Sanders, Neon Dion, multi-sport star. Football, professional football and baseball player. Dave Winfield could have played basically any sport. He was so talented athletically. All right, here's our next pack of 93 Bowman. We got Edgar Martinez. He's going to the Hall of Fame this year, working on some hitting drills there while everyone else is long gone. Edgar Martinez is still at the field, working off the tee. That's why he was so great. George Brett, Hall of Famer. Love George Brett. He was one of my favorites um, back in the early 90s. Finally got his rookie card this year. It took me long enough. Picked up his rookie card for 5 bucks at a flea market which is pretty awesome. I remember that card used to be worth a ton of money back in the day. Still books, I think, for about 80 bucks or so. It's a really nice looking card, 75 tops. All right, here's our next pack. We've got a Nigel Wilson, another guy that never pain, panned out. And Oral Hershiser was decent. Greg Vaughn had some nice power hitting years. Daryl Whitmore. And last pack for John. So John did get to Rivera. Let's see if we can find him. Jeter, Melito Perez, that's probably not the Yankee we want. We got Mark Newfield, Rondell White, Pat Mears, Chris Sabo, and his glasses. I know a lot of people really enjoy Chris Sabo cards, so there's a look at Sabo. His glasses used to drive me nuts when I was a kid. Um, Kyle Ripken Jr., looks like he's uh, reaching for an outside pitch there. Orlando Merced. And Melito Perez. So that is John's stack of cards. Next up, we've got Jared with the bottom right. Good luck, Jared. Got Kent Herbeck on the bottom. Cut right to the middle there. We've got Alex Gonzalez as the foil card. Kevin Stalker. Tim Salmon. Todd Van Poppel signing an autograph there. Tony Gwynn. Like that card a lot. Tony Gwynn was a legend. Hall of Famer. I'll go down as one of the uh, best hitters that I ever saw in person. I almost caught a Tony Gwynn ball when I was like, I don't know, nine years old. Landed like really close by. It was at a game with my friend. Uh, Troy O'Leary. Sean Green that would have a nice career. Kenny Lofton bounced around to a bunch of different teams after leaving the uh, Indians. Not a Hall of Famer, though. Some people think that he should have gotten a little more consideration. Ozzie Smith, the wizard, known for his uh, fielding ability. Like his rookie card. That's another one I didn't pick up till just this year. Ozzie Smith, 79 tops. Got a few of it now, actually. All right, here's the next one. Troy Percival with the foil. Kevin Young, Brian Taylor, failed number one prospect. Brett Saberhagen, Kirby Puckett, Hall of Famer. Delano DeShields, he's a coach now for the Cardinals, if I'm not mistaken. Cardinals or Reds, can't remember, one of those two. Just saw him this past week at PNC Park. Roberto Alomar and Geronimo Pena. Next up, pack number four of six for Jared. By the way, you can buy a sealed box of these for usually $80 to $100. Hopefully you get a Jeter if you do buy one. Francisco, never heard of this guy before. Hamet Gomez, I don't, I don't even know. Scott Ayer, another prospect. Lots of prospects. Mike Moeller. Jeff Bagwell, that's a good one. Hall of Famer. And George Bell. Next pack for Jared. Got a Jose Pet on the back. Don't recall ever even hearing of Jose Pet. Some of these guys, their only uh, card was probably in the Bowman set. John Smiley, John Cruck, he's an announcer for the Phillies. Preston Wilson, Barry Bonds, one of my favorite players of the era. A lot of people hate him now. Uh, got a checklist, Jody Reed, and um, Brian McRae, and that's about it. Last pack for Jared. 
Got 12 packs left on this Throwback Thursday, which uh, you guys chose 93 Bowman. I put some choices up there. 93 Bowman with 43% of the vote beat out 85 Donruss. We got Pedro Martinez. It's a nice card. Of course, he would go on to be a Hall of Famer. A lot of his cards from this era, around this time period, you used to call him Pedro J. Martinez. Sometimes I still refer to him as Pedro J. Martinez. There's another Pedro Martinez, Pedro A. Martinez with the Padres. So they put a J in there too, I guess, distinguished. So, Jared, thank you for buying into this Throwback Thursday. Next up, we got Kelly West with the top left and then Darren with the bottom left. Last 12 packs. Kelly is on the clock. Let's see what we find here. We got a Bo Jackson White Sox card on the back. That was after he got that injury. Career slowly... Uh, Grinded to a halt after that hip injury. Ozzy Canseco, that's Jose's twin brother. Jose was a lot better, though. Um, Tyler Green, Tony Mitchell, Kurt Manwaring. Ben McDonald, Bo Jackson stretching it out there. Next, for Kelly, we've got a Danny Tartable on the back. I believe his rookie card's 86 tops. He had some nice years. And then we have Steve Hosey. Mark Langston, Julio Franca used to uh, root for him. I wanted him to play till he was like 50. Always like rooting for the old guys for some reason. It's just um, something I always did. Jose Canseco just had his brother Ozzy, Yvonne Rodriguez, Hall of Famer. His son Derek pitches for the Giants now. Always liked Yvonne Rodriguez a lot. One of the uh, best catchers around in the era. He would always lead the league in uh, stolen base percentage. Caught stealing, you would throw out the most percentage of runners. Had a cannon for an arm. You used to throw out like 50% or more, which is unheard of pretty much nowadays. we got Mike Hampton, Glenn Davis, Jeff Darwin, Scott Cooper, Mike Draper. Next pack. I wonder if Jeter's even going to be in this box. Might only pull the one. Yeah. Work out all the odds. Probably the expected output for Jeter's in two boxes is roughly one so hope we get another one jose leaned with the royals that was my brother's favorite player growing up mine was andy van slyke back when we first got into card collecting got a uh eckersley fielder justice sid fernandez used to drive me crazy i don't know why just used to not like sid fernandez either as a kid just certain players would just irk me back then got ryan sandberg on the back hall of famer J.T. Snow. My brother used to like J.T. Snow also. Eddie Murray. Tom Glavin. Hall of Famer. Uh, Fred McGriff should be in the Hall of Fame. Kurt Schilling also should be in the Hall of Fame. And then they got Ryan Sandberg in the Hall of Fame. One of my favorite players. All right, next we've got last pack for Kelly. Let's see if the... Jeter's hiding out here anywhere. Um, I'm not thinking, I don't think it's going to be in here. Alan Trammell. And uh, Tony Payne is the last card. So, Kelly, thank you very much for buying in. So, now that takes us down to Darren. Our final packs of this Throwback Thursday. Let's see if Darren strikes gold again with another Jeter. We'll see. I know my brother did a box of 93, and uh, he did not find the Jeter, Lee Smith. So it's probably about 50-50 that you find a Jeter. So I'm hoping that we get lucky and find two. Nothing much in that first pack. Pack number two. Got John Smoltz, Smoltzy, Hall of Famer. Charlie Hoff. Charlie Huff always looked super old to me all the time in all his cards. Um, there's the Smoltzy, Dave Cohn, and Eric Young. Next pack, we've got Brian Williams on the back. On the front, we've got another Javi Lopez, Tim Wallach, John Olerud. Mike Piazza, that's a nice one. I almost forgot. I don't think we pulled this one yet. Mike Piazza is featured on the box of 93 Bowman. That's his second year card, but Piazza is a Hall of Famer. 
There he is in his Dodgers uniform. He, of course, bounced around to multiple teams, mostly known for the Dodgers and Mets, but also played a bit for the Marlins. Athletics and uh, Padres, but Mike Piazza, check him out. Second year card, Piazza. Pretty nice card there. Not pulled that one yet. There's Dante Bichette. That's Bo Bichette's dad. Jim Abbott pitched in the majors with one hand. We'll never get over that. That is amazing. Hope we see that again someday. All right, so next pack up, we got Jesse Hollins, Tim Laker, Eduardo Perez, who's an analyst on MLB Network. You can hear him on the morning show with uh, the leadoff spot with Steve Phillips. He's usually on there. Chipper Jones. Almost forgot about Chipper. Chipper Jones, rookie, is, of course, 1991 tops in his um, number one draft pick card. But this is a nice card, Chipper Jones. There's the back of Chipper's card. Another Hall of Famer. Nice-looking card, Chipper Jones. So Jones, Piazza. Um, Darren's having a good, good break here. Next pack, Greg Maddox on the back. There's a stat named after Greg Maddox called the Maddox. If you throw a complete game in less than 100 pitches, it's known as a Maddox. Um, that is a um, just kind of testament to how efficient Greg Maddox was. One of probably the best pitcher of the 90s, I would say, Greg Maddox. You had a lot of good pitchers in the 90s with uh, Pedro Martinez, Randy Johnson, but I think overall, you got to say Greg Maddox was probably the best of the 90s. Pinpoint control. The guy never walked anybody, really. All right, last pack of this Throwback Thursday. We got Willie Wilson, Steve Traxel rookie card, um, Travis Fryman, Pat Listash, Aaron Seeley, um, Jack McDowell, Ken Caminetti. Dave McCarthy and Steve Finley. So no Jeter at all in that box, but um, we did find one, so it wasn't a complete waste. I always feel bad when we don't find the big hit in a throwback Thursday, so I'm glad that I bought two boxes. Derek Jeter rookie card. That was our biggest hit, and it went to Darren C. So congratulations, Darren, and thank you very much, everyone that bought in to this throwback Thursday. And then maybe next week we'll do that 85 uh, Don Ross box, it has some good rookies in there like uh, Roger Clemens, and Kirby Puckett, and so on. Um, Mark McGuire is not an 85 Don Ross. He's only in tops, but still a really, really cool set for nostalgia purposes. All right, everyone. Thank you once again for watching. Please hit that subscribe button, like, and comment, and I'll see you all later.